This is the rear part of swing arm and the, the register of for chain. So there's a bunch of, those are gonna get welded into the extrusions to make the swing arms. I production, the, the stand, I production inside of the stand of the bike. <laughs> there they are. So when are you guys gonna start doing your own casting? <laughs> Those are four-stroke uh, uh, four valve heads. I'm getting ahead of myself because I get so excited here. These are all um, two... What engine is this for? This is a two-stroke 300. Okay, so that's a motorcycle 300. Yeah. Raw casting. This is an original Fusion and uh, working inside and uh, go to chrome inside and uh, this is uh, the fusion so do you machine them here and then the guy in yeah. the other thing uh, hones oh. the cylinder yes. and then you send them out for nicosil yes the nicosil outside of the company and the return and uh, you see the the guy and the cleaner the cylinder inside and this is finished and this goes how far away do they have to travel to get the Nicosil? Uh, it's a uh, 50 kilometer from okay. uh, uh, only working at only the Saldatura and uh, the special machine for uh, assembly the frame go out. Gotcha. And the Nicosil go out. Only these are working. And those are the raw this pieces? This is original. Okay. This is to go for the swing yeah. arm chain yeah. adjusters? Sure. Okay, so this is the raw cut before those get machined into uh, chain adjusters to get welded into the swing arms all, all on site. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So over here, is, this is uh, old Band saws for many company, many cutting company, the first no? chunks. Right, uh, made in Italy, but right. it's not made in Italy. TM made in Italy, made in Italy. Yes. <laughs> so this is a big investment in automation, which means TM is investing heavily in the future to be able to make more bikes to satisfy the demand. So. Right now, if somebody orders a brand new 300 enduro bike, yeah, how, how enduro, many how many months until they would actually get it? It's normally supposed to go sell production uh, 300, 400 pieces on a month. But I mean, if I ordered one now, yeah, when would I get it? I have a 3,000 bike in order now. So you have a 3,000 bike backlog, yeah, just for the 300 enduro or for all motorcycles? All motorcycles. All motorcycles. Enduro, supermoto, motocross. You must be very, very, very good at your job because you've sold all the bikes. Yeah. <laughs> for like the next year. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Those are good problems to have, right? And, uh, and now go in the art of the company of assembly the bike. Oh, right, I forgot. We've I only been looking at how to make the parts for the engines. So this is the uh, plastic prototypes to try to figure out the sizing for the aluminum blanks, I think. Are they gonna be are you making the molds for the castings? Yeah, yes, this is the model for casting, but uh, I realization all uh, model inside. I don't use uh, the model uh, of out of the company. I have uh, the technical department side and I have uh, the CAD 3D and production this and assembly the and production after uh, the, the parts. But are you going to are you going to be machining cases? Yes. Or no. are you making a mold to have cases cast? I have the cast. This okay, one. so this is working on the sure. cat. Got it. Okay, got it. You had me scared there. I was like, no, you're not actually machining but, uh, you cases. See, you see the difference of other company. This is a 
very made in Italy. Very made in Italy. <clears throat> Don't use uh, the China component, don't use uh, the uh, China parts and... Uh... Oh, this is spectacular. This area for stocking the first material, all the area have a first material inside. Just a bunch of triple trees. Oh, this is... Out. Is the weather here always temperate? Yeah. So the weather here is just always good. But uh, change to uh, three Diego. So it's pretty much like, yeah. so most of this factory is kind of open air and they can do that because it, it's such a temperate part of Italy. What province are we in? Marche. Marche? Marche. 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 Yes. Que <sighs> fagata. I have many confusion why the the, this company started in the center of the city. This is at the center of Pesaro and uh, started uh, for 48 uh, years ago, but, uh, but step by step started uh, in uh, 1000 meter and now 20,000 meter. Nice. Yeah. Oh, crankshaft. Okay. All right, we're going to have to leave the engine assembly. He's polishing it by hand. He's polishing the transfer port on that cylinder by hand. This is where he's doing the final honing before they get sent out. Cylinder heads with the cam relief. Casey Stoner. Yeah. Okay. This is a famous uh, engineer of TM and Eddie Rossi production. Uh, you don't remember the Morbidelli eight cylinder? I do. And this is the project man of, uh, of Morbidelli. Really? Yeah. All right, so we're doing that. We, we entered in the middle where they were assembling the engines. Then we went to the beginning where they're making the parts. And then here, I have a oh, special machine. This is for polishing. Yeah, inside. Yeah. So what are you, this is for polishing the transmission parts. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, Okay, so all of these production techniques that we're looking at are very expensive ways of building parts, but it makes them very, very high quality. And so they, they are not doing anything on the cheap here. They are doing everything for the highest quality. So these are the machined throttle bodies that we saw the rough castings yeah. for. Oh, so there they are. This is for a USA, and you see the name of the company and uh, assembled from the, the name of the operator. Melissa, do you have a magic marker? I need to. <laughs> yeah. I need to make some quick modifications to this. Okay, just give me one second because I've never been this close to a TM. Okay, so. Uh, the welding is spectacular. You can see the casting welded to the forging. All of that is to tune the flex of the chassis and the way it feels to the rider. Those are machined parts that are welded in so they didn't just cast it in place. This is lots and lots. There's the hub for the wheel, uh, which they're machining here. Oh. There's the, well, there's the lower triple tree. We were looking at a super motard one, but that's the lower triple tree that they make here. Top triple tree that they make here. 
every piece on this thing is is gorgeous. Yeah, this does not look like a Yamaha. No, it's exquisite. It yeah. is. It's exquisite. It almost seems wrong yeah. to take that yeah. and throw it down a pile of rocks. Yes. Yeah, but I would. <laughs> you see, this is uh, for a uh, USA market. This is going Australia market. There's the frames getting ready to go. So all of this stuff. Yes, but this is a not cleaner that you go in the, now go in the forno for uh, temperature. Heat treating. Yes. Okay, so this is welded, but it isn't heat yeah. treated yet. But all of these details, every time you see an inch yeah. of weld, yeah. that uh, costs money. And TM is, so they're, they're basically just making the best motorcycle they can, regardless of how much it costs to make it, which is very beautiful to see. <laughs> No, like here. Subframes, gas tanks coming in. I don't know if it's catching it on the microphones, but behind us you can hear them dynoing a finished bike. There's the 450 with an engine in it. Pretty well. Okay, for God. Uh, you speak with uh, many people uh, and uh, you you speak of the company and the you and, okay, the, the organization of TM is this, it is this, but uh, you don't check, you don't see, and uh, you don't have idea. This is a, very, very factory. Yeah. And but but very busy and all the bikes are sold and yeah, yeah it's it's great. It's great. Here's some four uh, engine department. Sorry. Engineering? Yeah. Okay, so their engineering department is right next to the factory floor, and that's very important because then the engineers and the people actually trying to machine the parts can talk immediately. That's an unusual circumstance nowadays, but it's very important because it allows for rapid iteration of uh, making better parts. Here's one of the 300 two-strokes. This is special bike for a USA market. One, one, two, CC, two stroke for a special guy, for a young guy. In uh, USA, is the most popular, this category. Sure, all bike is liquid cold. Are the expansion chambers? What, sorry? Are the expansion chambers, do you make those too, or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's like, those are easy. <laughs> Yeah, we just hydroform them, you know, whatever. This is important area. I have a, te I have a three test bench and uh, the electronic department for homologation. For for echo for map inside for uh, yes I have uh, the engine working for uh, for this bike for new model for the model of homologation for the racing uh, department. In this area, I have uh, the standard uh, test the the static test bench. For each engine? Yeah. Yeah. So, this man, 
Yeah, this is the boss of uh, electric uh, for uh, electronic department. Chooses each drop of fuel yeah. that goes into each engine mm -hmm. at each RPM, at each gear, at each yeah, throttle sure, opening. Sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Only a cane injector, but uh, the system is TM. TM. Spectacular. So this one's been ridden. Now this is old bike for, uh, uh, this is uh, the, the bike of, uh, for motocross, for uh, official rider of Supermoto. And the Schmidt is the World Championship of Supermoto 2021. Okay. And use it for, uh, for, uh, for going motocross, the, the bike, and this is old bike. This is his last year's? Yes, yes, the old model. This year the bike is changed complete, the frame, the engine, the plastic, the, the, the line, and the complete different to the model 2022. And in this moment it's difficult to change why you, the, the situation of pandemia and many companies don't change the model, but TM and uh, change all, all parts. All new. Per no. <laughs> it's very, it, it, yeah. it's hard. It's Every, it, everyone else's bikes easy. are staying the same. We'll just make an all new one. Not easy, yeah? <laughs> no, you guys aren't doing anything that's easy. Clear so you can see the fuel in it. This is the suspension area. And do you see, oh, after the, the parts of the rear shock, this is the, the finish rear shock of from TM. So what is the coating I'm looking at? This is a special color. Color. Yeah. Uh, with the integrated bearing. So. The register for compression. But there's two, right? High yes, speed and low high speed? high and low speed. And which the, the which one's which? And this is a high, low speed, the high speed. And then rebounds, rebounds on the bottom? Rebounds inside. This is, this is uh, the engine ready for. Uh, that's titanium? No, no. This, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's titanium. What are you talking yeah, sure. about? Sure, this is. Yeah, there's titanium. just a box of titanium. For racing springs the apartment, use uh, the, the, this, uh, this frame. This frame. Yeah. And then there's the steel ones. With the, uh, oh. so we got fins on the reservoir here for cooling the oil. 